the latest Ipsos poll has just been released. Uh, the date today is 23rd July 2017. Okay. Now, uh, this poll has been long awaited by a lot of people who are following things closely on the ground and are waiting to see the poll confirm the movements and the shifts and uh, what has been happening on the ground, well, according to them. Because according to me, there's been no shift. Okay. Uh, yes, in one or two instances there have been uh, people coming out strongly in support of one side, but according to the surveys and the polls I've done, uh, right from the beginning, there's only one county in my polls that has changed. Yeah, uh, The rest have been fairly straightforward over the last two months, Okay, but I'm talking about other people. Yeah, They were waiting for these polls uh, anxiously, but they've been very disappointed. Where have they been disappointed? because it has not reflected what they think they see happening on the ground. Up to this juncture, I'm not even talking about the Kumekucha polls, I'm not talking about the close uh, eye I've been keeping on what's happening on the ground, I'm just talking about other analysts, yeah, uh, who in recent months have stopped calling me crazy, have stopped calling me uh, you're out of your mind, have stopped telling me I'm dreaming, I'm talking about those guys, and they've been very disappointed. Now what did they expect to see? What all these people were expecting to see was a neck-to-neck -neck poll. You know, a poll indicating that both candidates are neck-to-neck. -neck. Uh, my poll, of course, is very different. I shall handle that towards the end of this recording. But for now, let us uh, uh, keep to those guys who, who are more realistic. Can I just put it like that? More realistic than Kumekuja. Now, for the first time, the most interesting thing about this poll is that for the first time, uh, we are seeing the president's point drop. Yes, it has been consistent. What has been happening, actually something very interesting, the president has remained more or less consistent. Okay, But what has been happening, the, 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 the score of uh, Raila Odinga of NASA has been changing drastically and dramatically. Okay, But now for the first time, we are seeing the president drop the polls. Okay, That is significant. Sneak significant because it has not happened in the recent past. Okay, now the polls put uh, uh, they give President Huru Kenyatta 47 percent of the Kenyans would vote for him if the polls were held today, and Raila Odinga 43 percent would vote for him. Okay, now at 47 percent, uh, the president has dropped from 48, and at 43 percent, uh, Raila Odinga has dropped, has, has climbed from 42. Okay, just one uh, percentage point. Now, bear in mind, this one percent is huge. Okay, let's let's not get that wrong. Eh? This one percent translates to a lot of votes. Okay, so uh, I, you know, I had an argument from somebody shortly before I started making this uh, recording, and they're saying one percent nikidogo sana yu nikurakama ambili tatu, nothing like that. This is a sizable amount of votes. Now, those who have been listening to this channel for quite a while know my beef with these uh, presidential polls. I have no beef with the uh, county polls, uh, polls that focus on a particular county. Those ones tend to be fairly accurate. Yeah, If somebody knows what they're doing, they tend to be fairly accurate. But for some reason, presidential polls have just puzzled me. Okay, uh, If you're new to this channel, let me just quickly explain why. Now, in Kenya, we vote tribally. Okay? And uh, once a tribe has got a candidate, that's it. We know that that tribe will vote for that particular candidate to a man. Okay? Virtually to a man. Okay? We already know that. Now, this tribal support will not be changed by any policy statement. They'll not be changed by anything. Yes? You might as well go and uh, release the biggest sex scandal plus financial scandal plus etc. etc. on their candidate. It will not move them. That is Kenyan politics, okay? Now, we also know that uh, a particular tribe makes deals. For instance, NASA has got uh, a collection of tribal chiefs, okay? Uh, the principals really are representing certain uh, tribes, yeah? And we know that uh, all the principals, uh, all the tribes behind those particular principles, again, will vote for NASA almost to a man, okay? Now, this is the exception of Mr. Isaac Ruto. Uh, this is the governor of Bomet. His case is a bit complicated, as you all know. Okay, so but all the other candidates we are in agreement that they'll always vote for their candidate almost to a man. Okay, now explain to me 
how we get into a situation whereby one candidate is lagging behind, that is NASA lagging behind, and then suddenly they start gaining. Yes, they lag behind uh, by over 10 points yeah, at one, uh, at one juncture in these polls. And then suddenly as we head nearer to the elections, they start catching up. Explain to me where those votes come from. Yeah, because we know that the tribal support of each particular candidate is cast in stone. It does not change. Okay. Uh, yes, five percent is not a bad number for undecided voters. Five percent would be those voters voters in the border, borderline. Yeah, uh, the few voters in Kenya who don't vote along tribal lines, the few voters in Kenya who, for one reason or the other, that do not fit neatly into the tribal compartments uh, the politicians have created for us. Okay, it's as simple as that. So tell me, how does a candidate gain in such a scenario? That is what is uh, puzzling. Okay, now in this latest poll, there's a difference of four points between uh, uh, Jubilee and uh, the NASA presidential candidate. Okay, um, that is what we're being told is the situation today. So if uh, elections were held today, that is what would happen. The president would win re-election. That's what actually the polls are telling us. Now my polls are completely different. Okay. Uh, I am on the ground. I have people on the ground countrywide. Yes. Uh, I may be a bit thin as far as the northeastern province is concerned. But uh, the northeastern province, uh, the votes there are negligible. Yeah. The rest of Kenya, I'm fairly confident that I know. That what I'm telling you is happening on the ground is there. And even Northeastern, I'm fairly confident. Okay? It's just that uh, if push was come to sh if uh, push came to shove, I would admit I'm a bit thin there. Okay? Now what my polls show is that the NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga has a five-point lead on President Uhuru Kenyatta. Okay? In fact, uh, <laughs> let me just leave it at that I've done a lot of other recordings on this matter and that is what I stand on okay so these polls are different from mine these polls are from a reputable uh, international pollster well known etc 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 okay Kumekuche is a nobody okay so I guess I don't know what I'm talking about and I guess my polls are wrong so let's just leave it at that until next time this is Chris Kumekuche